Hello friends, this is Sai Panindra from SQL School. Back to you with another small video on how to connect Snowflake Virtual Warehouse from our hot favorite ETL environment Azure Data Factory. Come on, let's get started. Let's get started with the ingredients first. What's our agenda? How to connect? snowflake from data factory firstly we need to go to admin and down accounts okay go to admin accounts and there you see something called locator get the locator first get the locator then once we have the locator ready what next yes you can have the uh, complete link but for now let's get the locator okay this one just get the locator apart from locator copy the entire url and this is the locator included in the url just ignore.snowflake.com not required Truly speaking, we are supposed to get region. It is from this information you get the region and the provider. Provider is Azure or Google Cloud or AWS, whichever provider you use to configure your Snowflake. From here, you get the required URL, this one. Or you are also ready okay like this we can even get the URL from here say this locator dot this one from this URL you get path address okay what's the path address simple remove HTTP very simple and straight you log into your snowflake account one two and three that's it okay one two and three three is dot azure in our example yeah one is locator two is central india south india or east us west ireland etc you got different locations to configure a snowflake right get that information this is a path address path address ready 50% work done. What else? We need to have our username. Here it is. Go to users. I need to have my username. Let me have my username. Okay. Get all this information carefully. Next, warehouse. And database name, which database you would like to connect to, get the database and the role also. This role is optional, but always recommended to ensure consistent data retrieval. What have I said? Consistent data retrieval because if role changes, query output may also change. Really, performance matter, right? That's how Snowflake security. Uh, strategy work if role changes the amount of data the type of data experience on the screen may also change please see if we can get more information about the roles attendees who completed snowflake training from us in the past please refer to the security concepts please refer to security management not just security management please refer to the concepts pertaining to chapter number seven information schema information schema and and security together decides the data we see for a query so role to role the things change and you require database let's get the database as well for example, some database like DB source or Snowflake, give some database, any 
or whatever database you require. That's it. These are the ingredients. Locator, region, provider, from there you have the path address. Path address is available. Locator dot region dot provider. Username, warehouse and database name. Optional, but yes, I must say mandatory in a production environment role. In our example right now, our trial class, I said role as account admin. That's it. Go to path. Copy the path. What's our requirement? New linked surveys. Go to Snowflake. This one account name dot region dot preferably location or provider Azure. So account name dot region dot Azure. Your username. This one. Username Snowflake account. You have the password with you, right? You have the password. Supply the password correctly. Database name. You have your Snowflake user account and your password. Database name. This one. And warehouse name. Okay, this one. Compute warehouse. Just make sure we get all the ingredients ready. All ingredients ready. Connection would be straightforward super easy only important thing we need to remember here only important thing we need to remember that path server path that server path okay provide the server path account name username password database name warehouse and account role click create test connection and simply click create this will take few moments time to test the connection give it at least 5 to 15 20 seconds especially if you are using a free account because hosting will be different free account versus paid accounts of snowflake hosting is different the hosting environment the type of our storage involved is different priority matters create okay that's it you are done from here you can have really continue for pipelines all the best for your pipeline design data set creations parameterizing the data sets and blah blah whatever you want to do it with happily you continue from here thank you so much for watching my video I don't want to say like, share, subscribe. No, 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 no. Please don't mind. Don't mind. For just for understanding. Easy understanding, easy information. Okay. That's it. Nothing more than that. Nothing more than that. But if you have time, if you have time, try to understand why. Why Snowflake requires either is your or ad uh, or aws or google cloud why what's the reality behind it try to get that information if possible i repeat whenever we log into the snowflake account whenever we log into the snowflake account and supply the required information okay what we do we try to select one cloud provider right in the video from starting of the class today, short video, I was studying provider, 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 right? This one. This is the provider. This one, friends. Let me just put this way, okay? Provider is your. To make it clear in what we learn. Let's be clear in what we hear, what we learn. Let's be clear. Yes, I said provider is Azure. Why not, a, why not AWS? Why not Google Cloud? Now my task for you, friends, number one. Why? Snowflake needs a provider. Task number two, which provider you prefer? Which provider you prefer? Get ready with your answers for your client interviews, job interviews, or to have some kind of friendly debate in the cafeteria with your colleague. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Thank you once again.